All yours, Tracy. All right. Today is March the 27th and this is 2023. And this is the uh, outreach meeting, I think. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. A um, couple of things that we need to get uh, started on and get uh, rolling forward. I'm just going to give us this. I'm going to share my screen. Um, we have uh, just going to go give an update on the um, we have two more weeks for our blogs. Uh, if I go over to our blogs, I can go through the ones that we have new. Um, I added using SIFT with Artilius, so that one is off the plate. Um, we've gotten the one for the 2023 Artilius architecture. This is a pretty big one. Um, if you haven't looked at it and started getting your head into the architecture, this is uh, uh, where to get it done. Um, I also wrote one on how to submit a blog, so if anybody is interested in really figuring out how, how you have to go about doing it. Um, we've added that. Tony added uh, mentoring for mentors and mentees. Um, Ankar Kumar added one on S bombs. Um, and Utkarsh added one on blockchain. So we have some good new blogs out there. I'm hoping that we get some more. There's there's about 20 out there that I 20 more out there that I actually put in there. Um, I've reached out to some of the folks and they say yes that they are still planning on doing them. So we should uh, get some more in here in the next two weeks. But all in all, you know, we're not doing too bad. Um, looks like another one was closed. We had 24 to start with or down to 19. So that gives us five. Um, the ones that I think that we really would have been good to have. Um, we still don't have a good one on uh, backstage. Uh, who had assigned that? That is assigned to somebody. Right. Brad, okay, he he very well may still. I'll I'll reach out to him and see if he's going to be able to do that. Otherwise, um, maybe I'll take it on. Um, Arvin, you still have one to do a little bit of research on why the the benefits of blockchain. You don't have to make it too detailed. Just do a little homework, and I think we can pull it off. And you know, if you need me to help you with editing, I'm always good at that. I think we could make one on the blockchain. Yeah, you, there's one is you you selected what what is an S bomb and you have one that why use blockchain. I think for your your own knowledge, both of them are important, but I think that why use blockchain would be a good one, especially if you read through uh, the one that's already out there that Ukarsh did and add to that just the high level benefits of blockchain. Uh, cost is one of them. Um, it, the cost is probably the biggest. And if you need help on that, you can always reach out to Steve too. He's got some ideas on it. Uh, need to yeah, I will. I will write the blog and send you the drop. Okay. Um. This one, I this one, I still have the CI/CD steps for Tilius root project. I think that we're done with our DevOps project. Uh, we still have one step in that that we need to update. I think, but I believe that that's ready to write, and I'll try to get some time on Steve's calendar to get that written. Um, and then there's others that I've reached out to some folks. Sime was going to write this first time uh, contributor blog, uh, but we're, they're out there. And I'm hoping that we get another three or four before the 15th, which would give us seven or eight. Ten would be great, but that's probably ambitious. We'll see where we get. I can, um, we I are, can write one. Um, I know I was going to do one. Um, write, one on, write one on getting becoming uh, Kubernetes certified. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask if that's cool to, to do that's that. That's totally part of cool. Atelier's. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll totally do absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 that'd be cool. Okay, cool. I'll do that. Yeah, we would love to have more of our Atelier's contributors that get certified. So that's a really good one to write, no doubt. Yeah, Super I'm going to inspire them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It is, yeah. Okay, so we also have um, our event coming up. Um, I have the uh, outline out here for May 19th, um, starting with our beer and donuts, where we always give away our, our um, badges. I think this 1030 keynote, there's two I think we should do. I think Steve should do one on the new architecture. And I think we should invite the Emporis folks uh, to do one on what, you know, what Emporis is. Uh, by then, we should have Emporis completely integrated. So I'm thinking that those would be the uh, two good keynotes. And then we need, um, it would be good to have at least uh, five lightning talks. Uh, 
there we can do 15 minute 10 to 15 minute lightning talks so if you've done a blog then i suggest doing a lightning talk on that blog so a 10 to 15 minute review of what you what you said in your blog basically uh is what that would entail um so if we can get some of these topics covered that would be great so that's what we're looking for for me um and i think that we are ready to line up the the uh, agenda as uh, talks come in and i'm going to push this out to the community over and over and over and bug people to sign up um and if you have a topic that you would like to present and that's not in this list please uh just shoot it over and we'll just do as many lightning talks as we have and it'll be we'll call it call it a day so that is all working um, on ter in terms of additional outreach, uh, Steve's uh, got a, uh, he got two talks uh, accepted, one at OpenSSF, he's going to do a talk on DevOps and how to add uh, open source tooling for security in the DevOps process. And then you got ones accepted at JFrog Swamp Up, Steve, and what was the topic on that? You're you're muted. I I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me see. Let me get to my email. I think I can find it. It's right here. So, anyways, we have uh, two more, uh, and I'm going to be on a panel on, on S bombs at uh, Open SSF Day as well. So we have uh, Steve and I are going to be doing the circuit. We'll have between the five days. We'll have uh five talks yeah i have one at, i have one at cdcon and then i have steve's waitlisted at cdcon and then we have one i'm on a panel steve's on a presentation doing a full presentation i'm doing a keynote at open source summit and then we both have talks at jfrog so that's seven talks between the two of us within that week it'll be a busy week um and that, that's, the title is the the safe the shapes and sizes of S bombs. That's what's awesome. going to be at Swamp Up. Great. Is there and a change that's... in uh, meeting schedule? And that uh, we uh, They haven't published the schedule quite yet. Um, it should be out in the next couple days. Um, we're because we're at we're because it's all happening in that same week um we're trying to get them to sort the schedule out so we can actually fly from finish a talk in canada get on a plane and be able to get there for the next talk in san jose the next morning <laughs> yeah well steve's is all, we, i think that's yeah that's pretty much figured out we're going to be done at open ssf days and open source summit by about three o'clock on the 10th and then we fly out on the 10th to get to San Jose by the 11th on, for the morning sessions. So I, I think I have, I, I'm trying to, I'm working with the, the Analytics Foundation to balance that. And I have to say, we it's been awesome for both JFrog and the Linux Foundation to um, be so supportive of, uh, of Ortilius and getting Steve and I in front of the, the community. It's been great. And we did have a, uh, we had a, a board meeting uh, recently and um, there was a decision by the board to add two additional seats to the board. Um, and that's going, they're not gonna be elected seats. They're going to be um, nominated seats by the board and they're gonna nominate two folks from Emporis. And I also spoke to Emporis about the, um, their logo and they're kind of into having a change their Viking merchant ship to a, a spaceship with oars. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what that's gonna look like. And that team's getting pretty excited about being part of our community. And thank you everybody who's been showing up for their meetings because it's really inspiring them. Uh, it's really helping them get their, uh, you know, get excited about moving this project, the, the project forward. I think they're all very committed to it. The ones who are working on it, they all, they all understand what the, the purpose is. And if you haven't read this five minute intro on what a universal object reference is, um, I recommend you do so. 
There's some interesting facts in here. I think it was, uh, where did I get one of their facts of some of their thoughts about how they came up with this idea? Um, they have some interesting philosophy thoughts in here. Um, maybe it was this. But anyways, take a look at this. Uh, it, you start really understanding yeah, this time, space, and events. Um, this was kind of fun, this object-oriented on, ontology. Uh, when I read through this, I thought, well, they should have named this their product Harmon after this uh, philosopher that came up with this, this Graham Harmon. It's uh, interesting. It's an interesting read in what, how they're thinking about this, um, their schemas uh, and, and how they can support this universal object reference. So we're going to learn, be learning more about that, and it, I think it will be. It's interesting because when we built Ortilius, we built it with basically three types of objects: a container, a file, and a database. Uh, and th those three types of ob objects actually will fit their kind of uh, philosophy of what these objects are and how we manage these objects. But these objects could get more granular than just of one particular component, and that's why it becomes interesting. So just a, a, something that you can uh, take a look at and start reading and understanding where their head's at. It's kind of a fun team, and I think they're taking on an interesting project, and I'm really glad we're going to be part of it. Uh, and I think that is all um, I had for outreach. Unless I've forgotten something. Uh, the only other thing would be um, visionaries. Uh, we're going to need a twitch jockey on that yes if somebody wants to step up to be the twitch jockey it would be lovely if not um, i will do it again and if you want to do it and you want to get your machine set up ahead of time um i, I would guess steve would be the one to talk to because there's this a component that you have to have do you remember what it was called steve uh there's one for audio you need yeah, like, the one for audio what do you remember the name of that did i no. when we i i'd have to look did at I reinstall your, it did you reinstall it on a machine when yes we, your 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 machine is all set up to broadcast to um stream yard what was that thing called i do not remember it doesn't doesn't really matter for now but okay well there's there's some pieces that are not uh easy there it's it's not completely clear uh when you look at like all of the parts so you have to and and i swear i spent a whole day trying to figure out how come i couldn't broadcast on different channels so you have to download new software that allows you to broadcast on different channels and that's where I was struggling because it was constantly going broadcasting out to my PC, but it wasn't broadcasting to Twitch. Right. So Twitch yep. was quiet. My PC was noisy. <laughs> so yeah. I was having those kinds of issues. It's basically a, a virtual speakers and virtual microphones that you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. allow you to, to route things through it and then reroute it um, to the right places. And once you have that in place, everything else is easy. Sounds and like it, it's, and like it's a tech doc on the site on Ortilius. Oh, to be a Twitch jockey. <laughs> yeah, I should have yeah. written it down, but I think I was like, like, okay, I'm, I'll do that another day. And then I forgot everything. Yeah, I don't mind working with someone. It's just a Markdown file, right? We just use Markdown with you guys. Um, yeah, when we go to actual broadcast that day, um, you'll need to be running. You basically have uh, the scene set up locally in o um, OBS or OSB. I can't remember which one. OBS, I think it is. OBS, um, yeah. And then from there, that's connected up to StreamYard. And StreamYard is connected to the other channels like uh, Twitch, uh, YouTube Live, and I think we did LinkedIn Live. Yeah, that, that part actually, once I started playing with it and got the hang of it, became pretty simple. Let me quickly show. Sounds like microservices. <laughs> kind of so, yeah. I was like, how do you get them all to talk? Yeah, they so, all got to talk to each other. 
So here's like, uh, here was our main and here, then you switch uh, scenes over. Um, and I don't know why this doesn't have my original, but you can uh, build your scenes so you can put things along the side if you want to. Um, I think that uh, Sergio would always put a clock somewhere. I don't think I added a clock. He had like a little timer, um, but you just build these scenes out. And uh, there is a way to set up Zoom so we can, uh, uh, Zoom can be added to the Twitch, which is what we, we did this last time. So I, I ran the Zoom session and uh, we were, so here's kind of how my, the main look, this is what I started with. And this is kind of how you set it up. And then this was my Zoom scene. So there was nothing on it. And the one thing that was the source was my Zoom input. And in that Zoom input, you just added the, um, seems like you just added the Zoom window or maybe I had to add it some. Yeah, it, it has to do with the names of the windows that are up and running. Yeah. So once you get started on it, and it's actually easier than you think. Um, best way I can describe it, um, you just the one thing when we do this, I think we should make the breaks in between shorter. We had fifteen minute breaks before. I think we should make them five minutes. Yeah, I think so too. But everybody likes the games, so the games are, would take up. <laughs> yeah, but once you do a, a couple games, you know, maybe yeah. we run. Maybe we run maybe like uh, three uh, lightning talks back to back, and then we do a break. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I did 9 to 10.20 for beer and donuts because we we're chatty. And then I did 10.30 to 11. And then 11.30, I started the lightning talks, and we try to get done by one. So if we did five lightning talks, that's 50 minutes, and then we put some breaks in there. Um, that takes us to about an hour. So I'm I gave us some chatting. Do you need quite a stable internet connection to do, put this all together? You oh. kind of do because you're the one that's pushing it out to StreamYard from. So you're actually yeah. bringing in stuff and uh, pulling things out. So you're actually bringing in like the Zoom meeting, you're bringing in YouTube stuff, and then mm. you're combining it on your machine and then pushing it out. So does your machine crunch quite a bit? Needs needs to not work too quite. bad. Um, no, it's not not very. It's just I think it's just upload speed. Yeah. Okay, upload speed. Yeah, it's just what upload speed. Is, what would you say minimum you need for upload? Um, we run our upload speed is like five megabits that we're running when we're doing an upload, so it's not huge. Okay. Okay, that's cool to know. And Sasha, if you want to play with it, uh, we can um, always uh, play with it by doing by going through the whole thing on one of our meetings. Okay, cool. Um, I would love to be able to do that on a regular basis, <clears throat> where we are um, broadcasting everything to Twitch. So every single meeting we do comes up on our Twitch channel. Yeah, I wish idea. people just started wanting to watch and not really participate, but just listen in and they don't want to have to sign up for Zoom. They just go out to our Twitch channel mm -hmm. uh, and it gives us activity on the Twitch channel. So I would love mm -hmm. to get it to where we could easily do that. And I was doing it for a while, but then I don't know, I'd be running late for another meeting and I wouldn't have time to get it set up. And it takes, it, does, it, it, it takes about 10 minutes to get set up because you got to get windows in place and mm -hmm. things connected and, and stuff like that so doing it for every meeting is you have to plan for it other than just jumping on a zoom you know last minute mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and sometimes i'm doing last minute jumping on because i have other meetings and so that's when it would start break break down and um i wouldn't i wasn't being consistent so i stopped advertising it yeah because the thing anyway. is you know, your, your day runs on and you'll meet sometimes meetings take longer than others you know yes exactly yeah yeah, yeah. and but but there would be good if we could do it. You need to find a quick way of doing it, eh? Like some simple, really easy. I, you know what? I think if I had done it more consistently, I would have gotten really fast at it. Yeah, yeah. But I hadn't really, uh, I hadn't really mastered the tools yet, and I was in the process of of getting there. There's quite a lot of pieces you got to put together, right? Cheapest. It is, and but if all because you got Streamyard in here, um, and you broadcast through, I think you you broadcast this, so you you have to you have to start streaming here, and that starts starts your uh, Streamyard, then Streamyard broadcasts out to uh, LinkedIn Live, Twitch, um, YouTube. 
Well, it's actually weirder because you actually you don't do the start streaming, you do the start virtual camera and the virtual camera ends up being your desktop and you connect your virtual camera up to StreamYard. Okay. It's kind of like when we set up um, the GitHub sponsorship, the terminology <laughs> makes it really confusing. Are you a sponsor or sponsee or yeah, yeah. are you, are you, because you'll have like a, the output of the virtual driver as input into um, OBS. And then it's like, all right, what, which way am I headed? <laughs> Um, but, yeah. up, uh, a, a new new person that joined today. Yay. Welcome, welcome aboard. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, I'm from India and uh, I'm right now working in a QA domain. So. Well, welcome. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I have total five year experience in a QA domain, in a e learning and the uh, entertainment domain. Excellent. Well, you let us know what, how you want to get involved. And, um, you know, you've got everybody uh, right now, you pretty much have everybody who can help you mentor yourself, uh, get you mentored through the process. Um, I'm happy to talk to you about any if you want to write blogs or do anything in, around outreach. Um, Steve Taylor is our senior architect. If you want to get into the coding world, um, he can get you started. And then anybody else out here, uh, Sasha and Arvind and Ukarsh, they're all, you know, the whole team is here to help you. Do you have access to the, um, are you, do you have a, hi, there you are. <laughs> uh, do you have access to the uh, Discord channel? Yeah, so the Discord channel is where you really need to be. Let's get you on Discord before we lose you. Let's see. Here, let me send an invite to you. You got the invite or do you want me to grab it? I'm going to do it right now. Okay, here is a lot of Zoom. I will post the invite link in the Zoom chat. Okay, so yeah, so there's, there's the Discord channel invite. Why don't you just click on that and see if you can get yourself into Discord. Okay. And if you need help, reach out on Discord. And the other place to find information would be here. You can go to this page and you will find calendar links for both Steve and myself under Ask an Expert. And reach out to me and I'll give you a, a full tour of Ortilia so you know exactly what we're working on. And we can give you an idea of the kinds of stuff that we're doing in terms of coding. Right now, we have a pretty big project going on. And some of the um, uh, pull requests or the issues have bounties associated to them. So you can get paid for your work. Good show. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you. All right, any other matters of concern or interest? All right, again, kudos to Sasha for passing his Kubernetes exam. Yay. Yes. Yay. Now we can put him to work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Steve just smiling. No more slacking. Now we need to get a two, now we need to get three or four more of you to pass it. I think yeah, that would be Arvin's great. Arvin's next. Arvin's coming next. Arvin, Arvin, you're next. Arvin. I, yeah, Arvin. I will probably try the secret one because he can <laughs> like do the. Awesome. You can. You can okay. Do it, Thank all you. All right, everybody, have a good day. Good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.